Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and earlier today, Pangu released an all new jailbreak, but not for iOS, instead for the Apple TV. And instead of being for the latest firmware for the device, it's for one that's significantly outdated, 9.0 through 9.0.1. So in addition to that caveat, there are definitely other drawbacks to this jailbreak utility. We're going to open it up, but first of all, let's just quickly talk about which firmware, or in this case, firmwares, this jailbreak actually supports. So when we go over here to IPSW.me, we can actually see for the Apple TV fourth gen that there have been a number of firmwares since iOS 9.0.1 for the device was released. So this doesn't even support anything that's even remotely close to the latest public firmware, which of course is iOS 9.2, which was released to the public following Apple's March media event. So this jailbreak will definitely not be for your typical jailbreaker. Instead, it will be for individuals who intend on releasing jailbreak tweaks, modifications, and applications for the Apple TV moving forward into the future. Because in addition to that, as I mentioned toward the beginning of this video, you also need to A, have a Mac, so like what I'm running here, but in addition to that, you have to have a USB Type-C cable, Xcode, as well as an Apple developer membership. So you have to pay $99 a year to actually have that membership because you have to register your device through Apple's dev portal and you have to actually sign an application and get that entire process rolling to get this jailbreak functioning on your device. And guess what the end result is? Not Cydia. Instead, you just have SSH installed on your device. So this is strictly for development purposes. So when we look at this here, let's just go through the entire process or what it would look like. First of all, you have to connect your device to your computer and then then what you do from there is grab its UDID and then you have to actually take that over to Apple's dev portal and you have to add it and register it as a new device. So already, if you don't have an Apple developer account, even if your Apple TV is on iOS 9.0.1, you can't complete the first step. So like I said, this is not for everybody. This is only for developers. From there, you have to actually register the app ID that you're going to use and then you have to create a mobile provision profile for it. Once that's done, you can actually add a team identification or an ID and then get that created. So get the new certificate specifically for this purpose right here. And then you have to actually launch the installation script and then you kind of merge all of those steps together. It gives you kind of an example of what you'd actually have to type in inside of the install script. So you type in this beginning portion followed by the device's UDID, the bundle ID, team ID, as well as the common name ID. And here's an example of what all of that looks like. Once that's complete, it will go through the process of installing this application onto your Apple TV, the one that you actually would have had to have gone into Apple's developer portal and completely authorized through your developer account. So once that's installed, then in theory, you just launch it and then it would say jailbreak successful and boom, you have SSH installed on your Apple TV fourth gen, but that's it. You don't have anything else. You don't have Cydia or the equivalent of Cydia. So no app distribution platform. What? whatsoever for third-party tweaks again or applications so you're pretty much stuck with just SSH so this is not for today this is for tomorrow this is not something that you're going to go out of your way jailbreak and have an absolutely amazing experience post jailbreak. This is for developers, as I've been saying throughout this entire video, to get what they've been working on completed for the Apple TV and hopefully for a better future with an Apple TV jailbreak. For those of you who are curious, let's just quickly open up what you actually get when you download this. So this is pretty much the jailbreak right here. Remember, they said you have to launch the install script and then from there run through those commands. So this is everything that you need once you actually have the application set up inside of your developer account through Apple's dev portal. And then from there you have SSH. That's pretty much it. So Pangu is not developing for the end user, but instead for other developers at this point, which hopefully means that they have something up their sleeves for the future and that they intend on releasing another jailbreak post 9.0.1, similar to what they had done with their iOS 9.1 jailbreak utility for 64-bit devices. It seems like it's just to hold people and in this case, specific 
specifically developers over until they release a brand new utility. So don't get your hopes up. There is not an Apple TV jailbreak for the public right now. Really, this is just for developers to get what they've been working on finalized for the device. I hope you guys like this strictly informative video, just updating you, letting you know what's happening in the realm of jailbreaking, specifically related to the fourth gen Apple TV. Remember, I'm going to keep you completely updated moving forward on the device, as well as a potential jailbreak for it on iOS 9.2 or later. So be sure to click the subscribe button below if you have yet to. And of course, like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter for even more frequent updates. And until next time, this is ICU signing out. Join the iCrack Your Eye device community on Patreon to help out the channel and to be featured in videos similar to these top contributors. Click the link on your screens now if you're on desktop or check below.